my channel it is already in the afternoon at two o'clock central time and we are finally heading out after having to refuse one load well sort of I sort of refused it and also dispatch said uh, to bring back the paperwork so and the reason for that being was uh, the load that I was given was too heavy. It was going to uh, Fort Wayne, uh, Texas. It's, it's in the Dallas, Texas area. It was a nice run and everything. But it was 1,090 pounds over 80,000 pounds, which is e too heavy for the United States. So then I went and told dispatch and he said okay bring back the paperwork so uh, here we are gave me a different load but luckily it's also going to Texas I haven't looked exactly where in Texas it's going but it's going somewhere in Texas too so we are still heading to Texas that's good we'll go into a warmer country that's for sure Yeah, that's just the way it goes in the trucking industry sometimes, you know. You know, you pick up a loaded trailer and it's too heavy for you. My truck is a little bit on the heavy side, I know that. Since I got the moose bumper on there and I also got the APU unit. It's a little bit heavier than most trucks, but hey, you gotta live with it, I guess, sometimes. Speed limit reduced to half. This four wheeler ain't gonna give me room here so I can move over. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, here we are. He gave me a nice uh, light load, 25,000 pounds. That's much better. I'm much happier with that. I'll get better fuel mileage. Uh, everything will be better. At least I hope so. But when I picked up the trailer, I did my uh, pre-trip inspection and uh, discovered the uh, license plate light wasn't working properly. So went uh, went to go change it, and usually they are plugged in, and <laughs> this one wasn't. This one was hardwired. I couldn't just unplug it and replace the light license plate light. So took it in the shop and it took them maybe 10 minutes but yeah put a new plug in in there and put a new light in there and here we go everything works so we're good to go yep so we'll be crossing Pemina North Dakota today that's a preferred border for me anyways Nice uh, interstate up there, I-29 is a very nice highway compared to the Canadian highways. And also much better than if I have to cross Roseau. Go all them back roads up there, it's, uh, it's not bad, but you got a lot of small towns you gotta go through and all that fun stuff, so. But here we are, I'm gonna put the hammer down, get as far as we can today. We got uh, about 2,000 and eh, 2,050 clicks, I guess, or maybe not even. We'll see. Alrighty, here we go. We have just entered North Dakota. And I don't know why guys stop right here. There is like a truck stop there at the right at the next exit. I I don't get it. Why why guys need to stop right here past the border? You know, but. I guess that's just the way they do it. They don't want to, I guess, take that exit up there. But yeah, well, anyways, we are finally in the US. It was about half an hour wasting there at the border, but other than that, everything was good. Yeah, there was a couple of four wheelers there that, that went in the commercial lane up there. And I don't know what they were doing in there, but. Seemed like the uh, 
customs there, they were giving them a bit of a hard time there because they were in there for uh, 10 minutes at a time for each vehicle. They had three vehicles in there, so yeah, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. But here we are back on the road, put the hammer down. Well, here we are in Fargo, North Dakota. Just had me something to eat up here. <clears throat> And I'm going to be spending the night over here, I think. I am finished. Uh, I could could have gone on further if I really wanted to, but... Uh, yeah, I figured up to here is good enough. I only got about a thousand and twenty miles to go, and I got all day tomorrow on the day after to get there, so... Uh, hey, why not, right? Uh, dispatch already sent me a reload offer. Gonna go reload in Houston and head over to Madison Hat. So we got ourselves a nice trip this time. I'm really happy about this trip. That will give me some good miles. Oh yeah. Which I really needed it. Because I've spent uh, a lot of time off over Christmas. And uh, had to do a little bit of repairing. So we're gonna have to try and catch up again. But uh, with that said... Probably go add it up this video and go to bed. Continue on tomorrow, so thanks for watching.